Welcome back, family. It's your boy, Sir Local 187, dropping you off with another early look. Uh, today, it'll be the Jordan 12 Royalty Taxis, and I believe they release uh, November 13th. And remember, guys, everything's always subject to change. But November 13th, as of now, is the release date. And they retail at $190. And your boy picked up this pair at StockX, and I'll show you the box and, and everything else. So that y'all don't think I'm capping. Or, or got some fakes or whatever the case may be your boy don't do fakes and if I ever did I will let y'all know and be upfront about it and ain't nothing wrong with fakes too by the way if that's what you like that's what you like so anyway got that out the way uh man it took about a week and a half to get here uh I had a little app uh named shop s-h-o-p and I kept track of my package these originated originated out of Australia and then it made its way to South Korea and then Anchorage Alaska and then finally to your boys crib, you know, so uh, I'm excited, you know shop app, you know kept track of, uh, of of The shoe and whatnot and my purchase So like I said, I got at stock X. I'll show you everything that it came with it and uh, You know, I'm excited to have these and uh, You know one more thing too is that you know, hey, I want to send a special shout out to my boy Bulldogs for you 559 and Addy kicks lover I mean, y'all been showing me some love, so if y'all can show them some love, uh, I'll try dropping a link. If not, like I say, your boy's new to this new uh, YouTube thing. Uh, Bulldogs, the letter, the number four, U five five nine, and he's on his way to a thousand subs. Go check him out. He's doing a giveaway. Good guy, good dude, and uh, Addy Kicks Lover showing your boy lots of love. So I'm gonna show him love back, and it's Addy A D D I. Uh, Kicks, K I C K S, lover. You know, so go check them out and, and show them some love too, as well, because they've been showing your boy some love, as well as y'all in the familia. And speaking of familia, I want to welcome the new members to the familia. Thank you. Thanks for all the love and support. I really appreciate y'all. And uh, it goes a long way, you know. So, um, with that being said, you know, these Taxi 12s, royalty. Uh, royalty taxis Air Jordan 12 an iconic silhouette you know even if you don't like the shoe because you know like I said it, it's not for everybody it's an acquired taste it's like wine like aged wine not everybody drinks wine or likes wine or knows about wine and not everybody's gonna know about you know the history of Jordan Jordan silhouettes and, and maybe a Jordan 12 silhouette so but your boy's here to help you and uh, you know how we do around here walk with me and grow with me and by all means, if you know, if I make a mistake or make an error, by all means, uh, respectfully, you know, do correct me, you know, because that's what we do around here. You know, we, we grow together, you know, not only in the sneaker game, but in life in general. And speaking of life, you know, I got the main ingredient here, but I can't do nothing, you know, as far as in the kitchen cooking without the special ingredient. And the special ingredient is y'all. Yeah, that's right. Y'all, you. That's uh, checking out your boy, Sir Loco. You guys are a special ingredient. And without y'all special, you know, special ingredient, you know, I can't do no cooking. So, you know, with that being said, your, your boy got your back. Whatever it is, we're all going through some things. And uh, just to let you know, you know, you're not alone. You know, tomorrow's a brighter day, you know. So y'all can hold on for one more day, one more hour, one more minute. You know, by all means, it will get better, you know, God willing. And so... Got that out the way, so, you know, I'm excited, like I said, finally got these in hand, finally looking at them, finally going to do the review for y'all, and, uh, you know, I'm also excited about the NBA season, you know, the Chicago Bulls, you know, they're undefeated, y'all better not sleep on them, and y'all better put some respect on them Bulls, I'm telling you, everybody's sleeping on them Bulls, and, uh, you know, obviously your boy was a big fan of, of the Bulls when MJ was playing, he's the one that brought the Bulls and, and made sure that the Bulls organization was well respected when Jordan was there. And then I watched it until, you know, when D. Rose, once D. Rose left and got hurt and got traded, whatever the case may be, I kind of stopped watching them because, you know, they were struggling and, and struggling to even make the playoffs. They didn't hardly ever made the playoffs. So then the last couple of years, you know, Zach Levine, he needed help, you know, had a little bit of hope and uh, give the GM a raise or, or, or a special shout out, whatever, whoever the GM is. I don't know if it's still John Paxson or not, but uh, man, they need to give that man a raise because this offseason, man, they did some huge pickups. Lonzo Ball, DeRozan, Caruso, 
They got Big Gooch. They got other uh, key players, you know, and, and like I said, they're undefeated. The only undefeated team thus far, you know, if I'm not mistaken. So, anyway, uh, drop a comment. See who, who you are rocking with this NBA season for this year. And uh, we'll see. May the best team win. But I'm, I'm expecting them to make the playoffs. So, without further ado, let's get to the shoot. So there she goes in all her beauty. Air Jordan 12. Royalty Taxi. And a history about the Air Jordan 12. There's a lot of history on this shoe, on this particular silhouette. And even if you don't like this shoe, like I said, you got to put some respect on it. Because the GOAT wore it, MJ. And uh, also, too, because, man, this was the first time it released originally in uh 86 no no not 86 i'm sorry uh 96 97 i'm sorry 96 97 mj was on his way to his fifth title the second uh you know go around on the second three peat and uh tinker hatfield the designer and this shoe here has uh two inspirations uh one of them is the japanese rising sun rays which you see around the stitching there on the upper and the other one is a 19th century woman shoe, Japanese woman shoe. You know, that's the two, two inspirations behind this Jordan 12 silhouette. And there's a lot of history on this Jordan 12 too, by the way. And there goes, like I said, the Japanese sun rays on the upper and the woman's uh, 19th century uh, Japanese woman's shoe uh, called Nasaki, if I'm pronouncing it right. Uh, let me turn the shoe around right quick. And the Japanese shoe, like around the toe guard, the, the upper toe, toe box, if you will, is kind of squared off like the 12, too, as well. And also, too, if you look at it, what does it look like? Like a shoe, right? You got the heel right there. And then, you know what I'm saying? Like the shoe. Like a dress shoe, you know, and that's what the, you know, what it looks like. You know, I thought I'd throw that out there. But yeah, Tinker Hatfield designed it. Air Jordan 12, like I said, is so iconic. Because, it, you know, the first first time the, it featured uh, the Air Zoom, if you will. The Air Zoom, the updated uh, herringbone traction that you see on the outsole. You got that carbon fiber uh, shank plate there on the bottom. Uh, like I said, updated herringbone traction and the Jordan 12, you know, like the Japanese sunrise, you know, rays, should I say, like the, the, the rising of the sun and the, and the setting of the sun in a way, if you will, was, uh, you know, Jordan parting ways with Nike brand was with this Air Jordan 12. Even though they're uh, under the same umbrella, should I say, uh, that's when Jordan Brand was born and conceived all on its own. So that's why when y'all see retros come out, they all have the Jumpman in the back of the heel instead of the Nike Air, you know, like the OGs had it. You know, just throw, thought I'd throw a little, little, little history there. But yeah, and it, like I said, it featured the, the Air Zoom in the heel and in the forefoot forefront if you will the air zoom and it parted ways with nike just jordan 12 silhouette kicked it all off and uh <laughs> if i might add uh if the 2017 chinese new year and the uh, taxis had a baby bam that's what you get right here the royalty taxis because <laughs> there's a lot of similarities you know and your boy ain't got the ogs obviously and he ain't got the Chinese New Year, which I was definitely eyeballing uh, on copping, but now nah, the resale price was a little bit too high for me. But this is what you get. You get kind of like the best of both worlds, if you will. The taxis and the Chinese New Year, because in the Chinese New Year, you got that gold plate there. And then instead of the white jump man, you got the red jump man. And that's the same thing with the taxis. And the Chinese New Year in the tongue, instead of uh, the Jumpman, you got like, I don't know, some kind of like uh, 
Chinese like stitching up here on a Chinese New Year pair, if you will. And then on the on the taxis, you know, the jump man's black, I believe. Like I said, I don't own a pair, somebody correct me, it's black. And the two three is black. These come with rope laces. You got your gold eyelets. You got jump man's there. Check that out. That's dope. On the taxis and the Chinese New Year. And like I said, the Chinese New Year has that gold plate there. And then you got your, your fox. Uh, F-A-U-X. Fox like lizard, you know, print, if you will, on the side there. Mid quarter panel, if you will. And they're on a toll guard. Kind of like, like I said, like a lizard pattern, if you will. Lizard dragon pattern, if you will. And... and Another thing with the Jordan 12, they never skimp out on the material, man. I mean, especially when the upper is leather. Man, look at that tumbleness, baby. For durability and last long. And, uh, you know, my only gripe, like I said, with this one as well is that, you know, no, no kind of ventilation. Your feet's going to be sweating. It's going to be a sweat box, which is another cool fact that I'm going to let y'all know. If y'all didn't know or do know, and I don't know when Jordan, you know, started doing this. I don't know if he did. I doubt it. He did it his rookie year or whatnot, but, or if he was like halfway through his career or whatnot, maybe someone can tell me when exactly, but, uh, he had a new pair of shoes, not just, you know, I'm not just saying like this particular silhouette, but before every game, he had a new pair of shoes on. And I can understand why, at least one of the reasons being that, hey man, he probably sweat the hell out of whatever shoe he wore during the game so he rocked a new pair whatever silhouette it was at the time you know before each game he had a new pair and like i said i'm not sure exactly what year you know he started doing that but he did do that another little fun fact so you got the rope laces you got the go two three and that's another thing they wanted to do something different you know as far as in regards to the number 23 you know, spell out the the number two, and then have the three, two, three. You know, and it has the gold jump man on the on the tongue, the go to three. Like I said, it's come with extra laces, white ones, which I think is cool. Um, I know on the the <clears throat> metallic red twelve that came out earlier this year it came up came with some extra laces, so I think that's pretty cool. But look at that. Look at the tumbleness on that, y'all. Man. So, is the Jordan 12 Royalty Taxi worthy to be in your collection? Drop a comment and let your boy know. Are these worthy to be in your collection? Are these a must or a bust? And you already know what I mean by that must is a must cop or bust like, you know, pass or whatever the case may be. And I understand if people pass on these, uh, cause like I said, it's part of the Jordan brand 2021 holiday collection. And uh, you know, the closer we get to Christmas, I mean, the more heat's going to be coming. So it's totally understandable, you know, if, if people pass on these, but uh, if you're a true Jordan fan and, and like say whether you have the taxis or not or the Chinese New Year or not Man These are dope. These are just my opinion You got the Gray or it's supposed to be white but it kind of looks gray jump man in the back heel pull tab and all Jordan 12s have the, the Right there, you know the same Jordan inspired by the greatest player ever let me turn it around. Quality. Inspired by the greatest player ever. You got your white 23 back there in the heel. And uh, the other dope thing is you got your gold jump man on the inside sock liner, the insole. Another thing too, speaking of the insole, uh diamond stitching on the insole diamond stitching on the insole let me try to give give you a better look 
I don't know if y'all can see that or not. Y'all see the diamond stitching on the insole? Dope. Class. Royalty, baby. Same thing behind the tongue. Diamond stitching. That's dope. And thank God it ain't another white sock liner. In, you know, inside sock liner. Man. Be hard to keep clean. I'm glad you're stuck with the black. Diamond stitching. See if my camera could focus. Yeah. Can't get the focus. But y'all yeah, saw it. Diamond stitching on the inside. And the materials on this, like I said, they never skimp out on the 12, especially when the when the upper is leather. You know, sometimes they have suede and whatnot, different materials. And nylon. I know they had a one pair that came out with nylon. Look at that tumble leather. Dope. Jump man on the little side plate there. So what would y'all do? Rock them with the black laces or the white laces? We got the 23 right there. 23, baby. Jump, man. Herring bone traction. Carbon fiber shank. Man, I'm excited. I don't sound excited, but it's been a long day, but I am. And I'm definitely glad to add these to the collection. And to answer that question I asked earlier in the video, these are more than worthy to be in my collection. Shoot, I'm honored, actually. Like I said, baby, we're, we're dealing with royalty here. Make way. Bow down. Move out the way. For all the haters hating on this shoe. You know, it is what it is. Like I said, uh, you know, is this the best Jordan 12 in recent years? You know, this year and last year, you know, just recent years. I'm not saying of all time. I'm just saying in recent time. Uh, it's definitely up there. What y'all think? Drop a comment. And uh, let, me, let me do an on foot for y'all. Yeah, and before I forget, like I said, I wanted to show show y'all. I got these at StockX. The shoe trees right there, size 13. Jordan 12 Royalty. Taxis. White, black, metallic gold. There goes the style. CT8013170. And that's the box that it came with. As you can see, size 13. And let's get to the on feet. Now, I got... Uh, uh, both laces uh, Both laces and let me know which one which one y'all are gonna rock it with the black or the white Okay, so like I said, it goes down feet. Black or the white laces? What y'all think? Man, I'm excited. I'm excited and delighted. So 
Anyway, I will go through the size. Man, they're comfy as heck. I'm excited. Like I said, I don't look excited. It's been a long day. I'm tired. Anyway, we made it through, y'all. We made it through, fam. We made it through another day. We made it through another night. So let your boy know. Drop a comment. Let your boy know just about anything uh, that, you know, that you heard in this video or about the shoe. If y'all are going to wait for uh, more heat to come out later on, you know, as we get closer to Christmas or these, uh, you know, a must and a, or a bust. And uh, are these royalties worthy of being in your collection? And they're definitely worthy of being in my collection as well. I'm excited and delighted, like my boy used to say. <laughs> so with that being said, until I catch you on the next one. Uh, thank you all for uh, tuning in and watching another early look. Hopefully I'll be able to do more early looks. But, uh, you know, keep subscribing. And I'm trying to reach that thousand mark, you know, because right now I'm just doing everything off the strength of my hard work. And I like doing this. I love shoes, you know what I'm saying? So with that being said... Thank you once again. Peace.